In this video clip, I'm going to walk you through the process of taking the sample balsa glider template drawings that you created on Inventor and cut them out to the shapes that they will need to be. So all of the part files that you see right here on the screen um, will be cut away from these pieces of material that you created in the previous uh, tutorial. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need the rough sketch paper which includes the partial view of the, the balsa glider itself. So you see half of the wing, you see half of the uh, horizontal stabilizer and the fuselage, and some key dimensions that will be needed to create those pieces in Inventor. You also see the rest of the key dimensions below. This is the side view. Side view and top view, these are two orthographic views with key dimensions that will be needed. Okay, so next thing I will need to do is go to Inventor, open up Autodesk Inventor. Once I am there, I will go, go ahead and open up the first um, template that I created from before. So I'm going to go to Open, and I'm going to go and find the sample wing. That's a finished sample wing. That's what I want to create. But in order for me to do that, I need to go back into the glider project and go to a wing template, which is right there. I'm going to open that up. Here's my wing template that I created from before. So let's take some key dimensions and start working. So before I get the key dimensions, I need to rotate so that we're looking right down on the top of the wing and then use the look at tool to flatten this out. So you see my X along the red axis, green is the Y, and then blue is the Z for the depth of the wing itself. All right, so let's start a sketch right on top and let's go back to the drawing and see what key dimensions I need. So 288 millimeters, 28.8 centimeters, is what's going to need to be the entire length of the wing span. Okay, and the cord will be 60. So I will need to go and take those measurements first. So 288. Take my line tool, start a line inside, go across, and dimension that line. So that's going to be 288. Click and dimension. Change that to 288 millimeters. Since I'm in millimeters on Inventor, not centimeters. From here, I'm going to take the line tool. And to make it easier myself, I'm going to make this a center line. I'm going to find the center of this right there. Go straight up. Click. Hit escape to get out of that tool. Turn the center line off. Okay, and I said that the wing cord is going to be 60, so I'm going to dimension that. That's going to be 60, so click on it. And let's go back to the drawing. That's not the drawing. Let's go back to the drawing. So 210 is the overall length of the leading edge. The trailing edge was 288. So the leading edge, since that's one, it's going to be 105, half that distance, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go over 105, dimension that, 105. And now I'm going to make a measurement going up, dimension that. Oh, made a mistake. So if I make a mistake and I get out of the sketch, right click on any of the parts that I just created, hit edit sketch, and I'm back in. So before I create this arc here, for my design, remember that your design may be different, obviously due to the fact that your design is custom to whatever you want. I'm going to go back into the PDF that I have of my tutorial, or not my tutorial, but my file, and I need to make this 15, not 15, I'm sorry, 18 is the distance here. So 18, so I'm going to take, hit D on the keyboard to make this 18, enter, and take my three point arc and come from here to here and make that measurement however I want it to be. Okay, this is on tangent like that. Maybe I want to make it slope in a little bit more. That's fine. We'll click. And now I have the radius set or the arc, the radius from this center point to this arc created. So everything is measured out. Um, I can also dimension that radius too and change it if I would need to. I'll leave that right there. Okay, and then from here, I can mirror everything to the opposite side. So it's important that you keep everything inside 
the rectangle that you created from before. That way you don't have any problems um, cutting through later with the extrusion option. Now I'm going to use the mirror tool and I'm going to grab the mirror line which I created earlier that is 60 and then I'm going to highlight the parts that I want to mirror to the other side. Hit apply and everything is now set. Hit done. I should be able to hit return and then extrude. There you go. Highlight the outside edges because we want to cut that material away. So cut distance, go all the way through and hit OK. So there is now the wing. So from here to make things easier whenever I go and uh, create the um, assembly file, I'm going to go and create a 2D sketch right on top to find the middle of the wing so I can line it up on the fuselage later. So I'm going to just draw a line straight down from center point of this leading edge to center point of the trailing edge. And then I'm going to hit return, change the material to a type of wood. I'm going to go wood ash, that's fine with me. And now that we're ready to save this. So it's no longer a template anymore, so I'm going to go to file, save as, and I would save this as a well, put your last name, so Bechtel Wing. Okay, this is the wing. And since I'm doing a new folder, I'll create a new folder. And I'll just title the new folder Bechtel Glider Parts. Okay, I have a lot of folders, but that's okay. I'm going to put it inside there, so that's the Bechtel Wing IPT hit save. It's important that you save all these files to the same location so that later when we create the assembly file, we will have no problems. And that is it. That is all you need to know for the wing.